everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm gonna to show you a ridiculously simple recipe for oven roasted corn, okay? So first things first, you can either use these um, corn on the cob, you can put them in individually wrapped in foil or you can do it the way I'm doing it. Now I'm only doing two tonight, I'm actually gonna break this one in half and I'm going to use a bread pan because it's gonna fit them perfectly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just grease up this pan a little bit. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do is just um, use my little handy dandy brush. If you don't have one of these um, silicone basting brushes, you're missing out, they're the bomb. Make sure you go to my store, shop.cookingwithkimberly.com and grab you some. They're so helpful. Okay, now I'm also going to grease up my corn just with a little bit of olive oil. Now, if you want to, you can use butter. If you don't have to, you can use olive oil. So I'm just going to put it on my hands because that's the easiest way to do it. Grease it up. Okay, now I've already freshly cracked some pepper because we're having a gorgeous side salad. Make sure you check out that recipe for how to make a garden salad. And uh, we're gonna use some more of that pepper on my corn. And I'm gonna use some really nice um, salt flakes. Make sure you check out the review for these. These are the bomb, the Malden Sea Salt Flakes. Oh, they're so fun to cook with. They have a beautiful pyramidal type shape and you can uh, squish them between your fingers. They feel really nice to cook with. They're very textural. Now, if there's any other seasonings that you guys prefer to eat on there, then by all means, you can put them on now, or you can wait till later. So I'm just gonna cover this up with some foil, and this is gonna take about 30 minutes to finish, okay? Um, so, what, what are we having tonight? We're having that garden salad alongside some gorgeous Napa Jack's oven roasted chicken drumsticks. It's gonna be out of this world, I can't wait. So it's gonna all fit in the oven right now together. We're at the perfect timing, we're 30 minutes into my drummies, and that's gonna take another 30 minutes. All right, this corn should be done. Yep, it is done. It's beautiful and bright yellow. You can tell when it's really nice and bright yellow, it's done. Um, it starts off being somewhat um, more mellow yellow and a little bit more opaque looking, I guess. You have to have butter with your corn. And I'm gonna show you what my new favorite thing is. Napa Jacks has this really great chipotle and honey rub and I know that you're supposed to use it on meat and things, but it is fantastic on corn, on the cob particularly. So I put my butter on and then I sprinkle that on top. Fantastic. I'm going to eat the smaller one. Put a little bit of butter on it. it still has that gorgeous cracked pepper on it. And I'm gonna cover this up for everyone else so it stays nice and warm. And I'm going to tell you how this tastes. Sprinkle some of that chipotle honey rub on it. Ooh, it's ridiculous. Not everyone likes it, but hey, I love it. In fact, I haven't been able to eat my corn on the cob without it lately. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've been roasting it like that. The sugars have really developed. Nice. And it's still nice and crisp, too. Mmm. Mmm. It's lovely. Nice and plump. Mmm, that rub just makes corn on the cob that much better. Mm -mm -mm. There's not many things I like better than corn on the cob in the summer. <laughs> so that's how you do it. That's how you oven roast corn on the cob. Super easy. You don't even have to look at it. Don't have to check on it. Just throw it in there, cover it up. You can individually wrap them if you like. If you wanna keep those, um, the husks on, you can peel them back, take the corn silk off, and leave the corn, hus the corn husks off the corn, let that hang outside of the plate or the baking dish that you're uh, roasting them in, cover everything else up, and those can roast. Then you can use that as a handle for when you're eating it, right? Very cool. Anyhow, that's how you do it. So simple, so easy, very healthy, very nutritious. Don't put too much butter on, that's all. All right, follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.